All right, so we um, just got out of World Cup and we're gonna do, actually I think it's the first unboxing video we've ever done while driving in our car. So, I don't know, watch traffic. Yeah. We're gonna test those on autopilot, so we'll put, we'll put the, um, the faith of this unboxing video in the Elon Musk. All right, so we got our stickers and put this in the back. All right, so we are gonna unbox. They had four of these left. So I found out from Die that they, Die was allocated 50 additional reflex autocockers. So they had a couple at Cup and we went and got this one. Here we go. I don't know if you can see that or not. So this is one of the reflex autocarkers. Now I still have, um, I still have my, um, my rendition um, reflex autocarker that's still on order. Okay, so it's still on order. And, um, but I don't know, I just wanted one early. This is gonna be Garrett's actually. And so let's take a look at what we got here in the box. So we have inside the box, it comes with a 678, 680 and a 684 um, barrel backs. Now, something that I've noticed about this new barrel is it's got holes here in the back. I don't know if you can see, where's the camera? On this side, yeah. So it's got these holes right here in the back. And I don't know what that is, but I've never seen that. I don't think I've ever seen that on a, um, like on an ultralight barrel. So I'm going to set this up here. This is doing pretty good. Actually, I'll put the other one in the back. We're literally in bumper to bumper Disney traffic. So we're just going to let the autopilot do its thing. Alright. Okay. Look at the back. It's like machined out. Mm -hmm. So, it's it. Or maybe it's just like an ultralight barrel. There you go. So, these are kind of neat because the, um, you can see that it pops up here on the top. So, that's kind of cool. But I remember when we were in the, when we were inside the pro shop, it was hard to get back in. There it goes. So I have to mess with that. Didn't notice that the gun wasn't exactly timed. A couple things I noticed about the timing that my own personal preferences I would probably change. One, I usually like it to click uh, when the, when the, uh, let me put it back in there. I usually like it to click when the, there it goes, when the bolt completely clears the breech. So I might have to do some adjusting on the cocking rod and on the lug. Uh, the trigger feels, the trigger feels nice. Um, you see it's got the die logos here. Um, it says free flow on here. And that looks like it's like a carbon fiber, which is kind of nice, or maybe a carbon fiber sticker, I'm not sure. Looks like it's got an adjustable LPR. That's how you adjust the high pressure regulator in the back. Um, something I noticed kind of off the bat little beaver tail pivots back and forth. I'm not sure if that gets tightened here by the set screws, but um, you see the beaver tail does move a little bit. I don't think it's gonna unscrew out of the back of the gun, but uh, that's about it. it. looks like it's got a nice, I don't know if that's a spring or a magnetic detent, but it has one detent. You know, it's funny. I thought on the website, these were supposed to use wire detents. Do you remember the bell cells? I thought these were supposed to use the wire detents. Okay. Hmm, okay, anyway, I thought on the website that these were going to use the wire detents. At least that's what I remember seeing in the picture. I also remember in the picture that these were supposed to be die logos and they're free flow. Maybe it's first run. Yeah, that could be it too. Um, you do have die logos on the feed neck. Um, so I don't know if you can see that right there. That says die and there is a die logo on this side. So um, not a lot of die. There's also die here on the barrel, die here on the grip. Obviously, this is an ultralight grip, which feels unbelievably good. This hourglass on a slide frame just feels absolutely amazing. Um, obviously, no air in it. I don't know how well this gun is going to cycle, but I can tell you that, the, you know, absolutely confirm the ergonomics of this hour, hourglass grip on the, on the slide frame just feels amazing. I mean, that's one of the best feeling autocarkers. You can see there's a little jut here 
a little grip, uh, a little grip. Uh, this grip right here, there's metal right here that's machined into the this. Groove? Yeah. For that second finger. Yeah, and that that just feels so good. I mean, that just feels so good. Uh, yeah. So far, my favorite thing about this auto cocker is by far this grip. <laughs> the grip is just heavenly. This is just uh, that grip feels so good. But um, other than that, it, it feels great. Looks like there's a beaver tail here. That's about it. We take it off. All right, looks like traffic's taking off, so we'll uh, we'll get back to driving now. <laughs>